Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm returning to the world of Quattro Quadri um, with a puzzle called Horseshoe Galaxy by Wuxiu. Um, and this one looks looks like there's a lot going on, but that doesn't mean I have any clue as to how I'm going to solve this one, because Quattro Quadri are always a little bit overwhelming. So I've done quite a few Quattro Quadri on the, on the channel. I should create a playlist. Um, so there's a Fog playlist on my channel because they're the most popular one. But I should do a playlist for um, Quattro Quadri so that it's easy to find the these puzzles. Um, but what are Quattro Quadri? So they're a little like Sudoku, but you'll notice that the grid isn't 9x9. Nine nine. But what we need to do is we need to place the digits 1 through 9 in each box without repeating any digits in any um, row or column. So we know that the boxes will contain all of the digits from 1 to 9, but we don't know which digits will end up in the rows and the columns. We just can't repeat digits. Uh, we do know that along these arrows, uh, the digits will sum um, the uh, digits placed on the arrows. The sum of those digits gets placed in the attached circle. Um, and I'm just reading through the rules now. Parity line. So the in box one, this red line is a parity line, and the digits on the line will alternate between odd and even. Uh, in box two, we have an entropic line. So um, any a set of three digits or a sequence of three digits. Sequence is probably the right word to use. We've been having a lot of discussions about wording on entropic lines, but uh, a run of three digits, maybe uh, uh, along an entropic line, uh, must contain a low digit, a middle digit, and a high digit. So this um, there'll be a low, a middle, and a high in here, and a low, a middle, and a high in here. Uh, Renban line. Um, digits on a purple line, so this are a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. So these might be 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, but as long as the digits that go on this line, you take them off and sort them, they were a run of digits, you're okay. Uh, this is a Nabna line. And the way a Nabna line works is no pair of consecutive, no pair of digits on this line may be consecutive. Um, so, and digits may not repeat on the line. So for example, if this was a one, I could not put a two anywhere on the line, um, even here, because even though they're not adjacent, you cannot have consecutive digits anywhere on the line. Uh, and then white dots separate digits that are consecutive. They have a difference of one. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So what's the maximum I could put on this Renban line? Because if I put a 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, there, there's got to be a maximum I could put here. Now, 7 seems way out. 7, 6, 5, because if I put a 7 and went down, 7, 6, 5, 4, the sum of 7, 6, 5, and 4, well, 5, 4 is 9, 7 and 6 is 13, 13 and 9 is way too high, because 13 and 9 is 22, and I can't make those two digits sum to 22. 6, 5, 4, 3 is, well, 4 and 3 is 7, 6, and f 6 5, 4, 3 is 18, isn't it? 6, 5, is 11, 4, 3 is 7, is 18, even that doesn't work. So these are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and must contain 2, 3, and 4, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, at which point these sum to 10, or 2, 3, 4, 5, and if it's 2, 3, 4, 5, it's 9 plus 5, which is 14, and these are, yeah, so this is either 10 or 14, but 2, 3, and 4 must be on there. So I can't put a 1 here, so we know that this has two odds and two evens because, yeah, the digits alternate. So the sum of this line is even. So the sum of those is even. And there must be a high digit on, the, on this line because those two... Oh, right. So entropic line. I'm, I'm going to do some coloring here. I don't know which one is which. But I know, okay, I, I'm right. These are low. I'm actually going to change my coloring. So if I was to start blue and then I'm going to use purple and then I'm going to use gray and then I'm going to use blue because I normally use blue. So these have to be the same high low, but 
yeah, those have to be low because any run of three digits along the line have to have um, one of each. So whatever these three are, um, say this was low, mid, and high, then this would already ha this run of three would already have its mid and its high, and this would have to be the same as this. But what would happen, so these two have to be the same. Every third digit along the line is the same high, low. So what would happen if these are both mid? Well, the, oh no, they could both be mid, four, five. They could both be mid. So, but it's not high. One of these is high, a seven or an eight. It can't be a nine. So the other one is low. These are both mid. Because once I put a seven or an eight down here, I can't put a mid with it. So this is a high and a low. See, I've got that wrong. This is a high and a low. These are both mid. Which means these are four, five, and this is nine. And this is seven, one, two, well, like this, this can't have an eight on it. This has to be one, seven, because if I put an eight on this, the minimum it could be would be one, eight, and that would also have to be nine. This is one, seven, this is eight. That's cool. That's very cool. Okay. The Nabna line is also going to be really powerful because it's a four long, four length Nabna line. So I think it has to be. So what happens if I don't put a one on it? If I put a two, if I don't put a one on the line, and let's say I put a two on the line, I couldn't put a three on the line, so I could jump to four. I couldn't put a five on the line, I jumped to six. I couldn't put a seven on the line, I jumped to eight. If I don't put a one on the line, this is the minimum the line could be. And two, four, six, eight is 20, and these would have to sum to 20. It doesn't work. There must be a one on the line. Now I can't put a two on the line. So what's the minimum the line could be? If I can't put a two on the line, it would be a three. I then can't put a four on the line, so it's five. And now I can't put a six on the line, it'd be seven. It's one, three, five, seven, which is 16. So, this must be one, three, five, seven, or one, three, five, eight. It must be one, three, five, seven, or one, three, five, eight. And I think it has to be one, three, five, eight. Because if this was 1357, the minimum it could be, those are those sum to 16, and this would have to sum to 16. But the only way to make 16 is 79, and 7 is not available. So I have to increase this by 1. And I can't increase the 1 to a 2 because then the 2 and 3 would be consecutive. I can't increase the 3 to a 4. That would make the 4 and the 5 consecutive. If I can't increase the 5 to a 6, the only digit I can increase is the 7 to an 8, which makes this an 8-9 pair. One of these is 8-1. The other one is 3-5. So... So, this consecutive dot may do that? Hmm. Well, this can't be... Uh, maybe it can. But this is 1358, which is cool. But that restricts this. These is restricted. Because the minimum here is one, two, three, four, meaning these have to sum to 10. So these sum to 10, or if they were two, three, four, five, they sum to 14. Now 14 could be done with nine, five, except it can't. Eight, six, except it can't. This can't be 14 anymore. This has to sum to 10. So it's one, two, three, four. And I can't use one, nine, 
I can't use 2.8, I can't use 3.7, this is a 4.6 pair, which makes this the 5 and this the 4. This is so clever. This is redonkulously clever. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9. 2, 7 and 9. 5 can't go here because 5 isn't consecutive with any of those digits. It needs a 4 or a 6. So 5 isn't here. Remember, the 8 goes with the 1, the 5 goes with the 3. There's no 3 here. Now... One, two, three, four. If this is a two, this would need to be a one or a three. It can't be. So two is down here. So there's no two here. So actually, I should be looking at these arrows. I can't use three on here. I oh, know one, three, six. Actually, how do I make six? One of them is one, three. The other one is two, four. Yeah, one of them is one, three. The other one is two, four. And this can't be the two, four arrow. There's no way of making this a six now. I can't use 4, 2, I can't use 1, 5, I can't use 3, 3. This is 1, 3, 4. This is 6 with 2, 4. Seven, 9 here would make this the 8. 7 would make this 8 or 6. So this is 6 or 8. And it's not 8, this is 6. So this is 7. And this is 2, 9. The 7 looks like making that the 1 and that the 7. This is a triple. 2, 3, 6. There's no 6 here. So 6 is definitely in one of those. Okay. This parody line now has some work to do. Because remember, this has an even sum. Because these alternate in parity. I don't know which way they go, but they alternate in parity. Can I do more with this yet? This could be one, two, it, it could be two, three. It can't be three, four, four, five, five, six. It could be six, seven. So it's one, two, two, three. Or six, seven. Okay. So each of these is an odd digit. Because while the sum, while the sum is even, this, this each of these is an even and an odd. So these are odd digits. One, three, five, seven, nine. Well, they're not seven. They're not one. And in order, so they're th from three, five, nine. This is an even digit. This is an even digit because it's consecutive with an odd digit and it can't be two, four or six. That's the eight. Taking eight out of those, taking one out of those. So this is a one or a three. So this is a two. This is a nine. That takes the two out of those. That's beautiful. This is the two. Oh, it's one eight nine or three five eight. The one three means there's no three here. These are five and nine, but this is the eight. So that's the nine. That's the five. Oh, this is so clean. Seven. So it is this now. How do I make five? One, four, or two, three. So these are one, two, three, four. There's no one here, so there's no four here. 
There's no two here, so there's no three here. That's a one, two, three, four. So this is from six, seven, eight, nine, and it's not eight or nine. This is six or seven. So what's that? If this is six, this is seven, because it can't be a five. If this is a seven, this is a six. This is a six, seven pair. So that's a three, that's a six. The three looks down making this the one. So this is the eight, nine. So this is the three, five, making that the eight. The five makes this the three and this the five. So how do I make this nine work? I can't use one eight. I can't use two seven. I can't use three six. This is four five, which means this is the two. This is the one. And these have to be the same parity. So that's the four. That's the five. <laughs> oh my Lord. The one, two looks down, making that the four, that the two. The one looks down, making that the three and that the one. The digit I haven't placed in this is the three. And the seven looks up, making that the six and that the seven. And that didn't check. That's not the solution. Why? Why is that not the solution? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're alternating parity. Five, four, nine. Oh, that's one, two. What? I got that wrong. Where did I go wrong there? Two makes this three. So hang on, let's go back to this. So this was four, five. It's the only way to do it, which makes this two, which makes this three, which makes this one, which makes this three. The two makes this four, which makes this two. That's where I went wrong. I typed those, did the, I did the wrong sum. So this is a one. The seven makes this the six and this the seven. And the parity means that these have to be the same parity. So that's the four, that's the five, and that's the correct solution. I did the sum wrong. That's where I went wrong. Uh, I'll admit, I did kind of miss this arrow because these lines are fairly saturated, but that's on me. That's completely on me. That's what happened, but it is on me. I knew those arrows were there. Yeah, I, I, I did the wrong thing here because I got distracted by parity line, not by arrow. Um, I don't know whether I pencil marked that wrong. You've got evidence as to what happened there. I eventually figured out what went wrong, and that is on me. That was a great puzzle. The way these lines kept feeding back into each other, it's possible, I mean, I think I started down here on the Ren band, and then I think I went to the least powerful lines first, and then I got to this, which I think was the most powerful line, although this one was incredibly powerful as well. That was beautiful. That was really nice. Thank you, Wooshel. Um, Yeah, I really like these Quattro Quadri puzzles. Um, you can just go to my channel and hit the little search icon. If you search for Quattro Quadri, they will come up. That was really, really good. That was a lot of fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, good luck with your solving.